Hello, everyone. This is Drakus. Well, that's Drakus back there working. This is Grognak the Grunt here to show you what we're doing and what's coming out with stations. Things that you've all requested, problems that come up. And over the past two years, I've thrown them into this new station. And just here to show you all the changes. Okay, so click on it. New tool. Yeah, you all know that. Use the tool. Click. You get the craft and use recipe. Don't know the recipe, so I'm going to craft the recipe. Add ingredients, reads, tin. If you all don't know the recipe for small basket buying now, well, you just learned the recipe for small basket. And craft recipe. Oh. Huh. Started crafting 160. That's not right. Seems to be a problem with the station. Oh, that's right. Dracus sent me <coughs> an updater. So, I res the updater out. And let's click it. Starting update process. <coughs> Sorry about that. You can see it's going through and updating the station. It has finished its updates. <coughs> it's cleaned up and reinitialized the station. So now with crafting station with version 13.2. Let's try that same thing again. Craft, add ingredient, read, 10, submit, craft recipe. Hey, look, we've tried, started crafting 10 small baskets. Well, that's eh, something's got to be fixed, but we've started crafting a small basket. It uses 10 reads. That's a display error. It'll be fixed on release. We can get rid of this updater. So that will be the neat update process for everything in the future, once we get everything updated to this stuff. So for the next release, you will have to take everything up, res everything out. But in the future, you'll just receive an updater. You throw it out, click it, and it updates all your stations. And I've crafted a small basket. Well, okay, I've received 10 items of small basket. That's going to have to change because, uh, yeah, that's the wrong number. Um, else oh yeah okay so you saw that now we come into the owner menu and you can reset the station which completely resets everything um say something happened to the station something went wrong you can actually come in now and reset the scripts. Say you wanted to change what the station looked like. You have your own mesh that you think is better for a basket weaving station for your sim. You can come in, edit linked, grab the cube, which is this cube is the base of the station. Grab this little thing right there, which is the sit ball. 
unlink. And okay, that is now your station. Let's say this is my new mesh for my station. So I'm going to bring this and my sit ball over. Yeah, I don't want a sit ball. I want to make a station without. Well, okay, first a few things. When you link, this cube must be the root of the prim when you link it. So you hit link. Now, didn't use the sit ball, didn't link it in. This station requires an experienced sit ball to operate. Um, if I try to craft, nothing comes up. So I do have to click on the sit ball, click on the station, link. Then I can just reset my scripts. And remember, this is just on a grunt. This person doesn't have my edit rights. This is their station. The station is shipped. Well, this is their print. But it is shipped with modify, uh, it'll be no copy, accidentally sent in the wrong version. Uh, it'll be no copy, but modify and transfer. So now it's linked. And look, the station works again. Craft, add ingredient, reads, and submit craft recipe. And it's giving the wrong amount again, but we know that bug, that bug will be fixed on release. So now, oh, sim crashed. Oops, went offline. And your avatar is unsitted. Paused, small basket, 20% complete. You come back online, click and you start the resuming the crafting immediately. You just want to stand up and walk away. Come back, click, resume crafting immediately. Now, this pause is safe for 10 minutes to you. So if somebody else tries to come over and click it, they will get a warning that this pause is safe for however many minutes are left. So if you crash, you have 10 minutes to come back and guaranteed no one else can take your craft. If you don't come back in the 10 minutes and somebody else clicks the station, it will completely erase your craft. So that's really changing the way the pause menu works. You notice I click when I'm crafting, I can get the owner menu, but there is no pause. So let's talk about what I've added to the owner menu. Well, let's finish this craft and we can talk about it. It has the reset. You can still change the hover text, color, on, off. Select my small baskets. Okay, but something new which has been requested by the community is security. You have public, anybody can use. Colony, which only people in the colony that you're a member of can use. Let's try to set it as Frognet. You must be a member of a colony to set the station to colony only. He's not a member of a colony, but if he comes over here to this station, you must be a member of Drex's colony to use this station. And I need to put a space there. Now, come back into security. The other modes are group, which will restrict it to the group the station belongs to. So if you come into edit mode and you see the group here, SL colonies, if somebody is not part of that group or not the owner, 
they can't use the station. And the other one is owner only. So security level set to owner. That means only the owner can use this station. It's been a feature that's been requested by the community. We added it in this next update. And this will be on every item. Water, um, reeds, stations, uh, storage cabinets, whatever. It will all have this new menu. Um, that's about it for the changes. Still got to fix that craft by item. The craft by recipe works fine. This grognak has no recipe. Um, you can see that you can link your own prims now, but you must use the root prim that comes with the station, and it will be a no copy root prim. Um, oh, and if you wanted to, you don't like the animations, and it linked this small ball, you can go into the content and you can change out the anim animation if you wanted. Just drop in a single animation. If you drop in multiple, it will only use the top one. And that will be the animation used when crafting. Um, that's all I can think of. This is just a short video to show you what's coming up with the new station releases. Let me know if I missed anything or if there's any other features you want me to add in before the initial release. Thanks. Bye, everybody, and enjoy.